everyone, my name is Amber Akar and this is my dog Tucker and um, if you've been following us recently you may have noticed that Tucker had a few pretty scary incidents. You might see that the back of his head is shaved from an MRI. Um, luckily he's okay but unfortunately half of his face is still slightly paralyzed which means he can't fully blink his eye. Now I've been a huge fan of Rexpex for a really long time and always wanted to get them for my dogs but now we find them to be medically necessary in order to just go on walks. So I'm really excited to put this video together for you because we finally got some Rex specs in and this is gonna be Tucker's first time learning how to wear them. Now I will tell you that he has worn things on his face before for photos and he's used to wearing a muzzle. So you might wanna go a little bit slower than I'm going with Tucker. So keep that in mind. If your dog needs a little bit more time, go at your dog's pace. Okay. This is Tucker's first time seeing the Rex Specs. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a marker word. My marker word is going to mean that every time he hears that word, he gets a treat. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring the goggles out. Yes, good! And as soon as he interacts with them, I'm going to go ahead, mark that, and then reward him. So let's try that again. Yes, good job. And I'm just getting him familiar with the actual goggles so that he sees them, yes, good boy, as a good thing. Now, obviously I want them going over his eyes, but I don't wanna rush the process. Yes, I want to make sure he's feeling confident and feeling good about this entire process. So once my dog is really easily, readily offering behaviors with it, I might start actually asking him to put his head near it. Yes, good job, very good. If your dog is new at this, again, stay at this step for a very long time until your dog is feeling confident and comfortable putting their nose on it, putting their head through it, all sorts of things, giving them treats for really just interacting with the goggles themselves. Our next step is going to be showing him a treat through the actual straps. Yes, good boy. I'm gonna go ahead and unbuckle the head strap here, making the chin strap easy. Yes, good job, good boy. So I'm not, I'm not luring him through, and the reason why I'm not using a food lure to bring his head through is because that can make him go too quickly through the steps, which can actually kind of freak him out once it's on his face. So I want him to offer the behaviors so that he's feeling really, really confident, yes, good boy, about this. So he's doing really, really great. We're gonna end it on a high note, yes, good boy, with him interacting with the goggles, and then I'm gonna take the goggles away after he's done interacting with them. Yes, good boy, and we'll end our session. Hey guys, so this is our second session with Rexpex, and I'm going to go ahead and review what we went over previously. So I've got our Rexpex. There's actually no goggles inside, and I didn't mention that before, so I can stick my hand right through it. And I do that because I want him to feel really confident and comfortable. Yes, good job. So anytime I bring those Rexpex out and he interacts with them, I'm gonna go ahead and reward that because that's super brave and awesome. Yes, good boy, awesome job, buddy. Very good. Now what I'm gonna start doing is I'm actually going to start putting it on his head. Let's see. Yes, good job and rewarding him for that. So he's comfortable with it actually touching the top of his head. So I wanna make sure I'm never pushing him. If your dog is ducking away and trying to pull away from them, go back a step, take it slow. The worst thing you could do when introducing something new, yes, to your dog, is to rush through the steps because we don't want them to dislike these. We want them to actually enjoy wearing them. I wanna make sure this is a really fun, positive experience for him. Look what he just offered and I'm gonna take that off before he gets freaked out. So I'm gonna try this a few more times with him, call it a quits when he's feeling really great about it. Yes, great job! Lots of treats when he has it on his face and then we end it there. Okay, so we're ready for our third session. now. Bless you. <laughs> take as much time, yes, good job. Take as much time as you need in between each step. If that means days, weeks, however long your dog needs to feel comfortable, that's crucial. You have to work at your dog's pace, not at the pace you're hoping for them to go. So Tucker's being really comfortable with this, so I'm able to do a few sessions a day, and then I'm also able to um, quickly move through the steps over a, a few days at a time, thank you, over a few days at a time. So I'm hoping we can move really quickly and get these comfortably on him where he's feeling confident um, by the end of the week. So yeah, you're so great. I love that he's offering behaviors because he's feeling great about this. He doesn't think it's scary. So we're going to review the first two steps. I'm gonna bring it out. Yes, if he interacts with it, he gets a treat for that. 
Very good job. I'm going to place it on his head and reward him for that. Yes, good job. So remember, take it slow, go at your dog's pace. That's the most important part. Very good. So he's offering a lot of behaviors here. So now what I'm going to do is the longer that it's on his head, going to keep those rewards coming. He's doing so great. Excellent job, lots of treats. And then I take it off so that he doesn't feel the need to have to back off or take it off of his face. He's offering the behavior. The longer he keeps that on, the more treats he's getting. Great job. I'm not going to push it. I'm going to end it on a good note. Great job, excellent. That was really great. So that was our last session for the day. Um, I'm going to make sure to practice all three of those steps with him to make sure he's feeling confident before we move on to the next step. Okay guys, so I put a clear lens on because that's going to be the least strange for our dogs. So I make sure to put a clear lens on so that it's, it's pretty simple for him. It's not adding a bunch of like, shade or something they're not used to having on their face. So we're gonna review all of the steps with the clear lenses on. And your dog will let you know when they're ready to move on to the next step. If he's offering putting his face in it and trying to, you know, continue to keep it on, that's a good indication that your dog is like ready to move on. They don't need to be doing, you know, the baby steps anymore. So he's doing really great keeping this on. So I'm gonna already move to buckling. Good, and make sure you adjust the buckle ahead of time before you start buckling. We don't want it falling off of their face. We wanna make sure it fits pretty well. So practice adjusting the buckle on once your dog is comfortable with the buckle going around their neck before you actually leave it on them. So we're gonna keep it short, take it off. Great. Let's try that again. Yes. So he's getting all the treats when he's wearing it. I'm not giving him treats for taking it off right now um, because I want him to really enjoy keeping them on. Now you might notice that when I clipped it on, his ears are, are pointing back and that tells me that we need to practice this step for a while before we move on to the next step because he is a little weirded out by having it clipped on with the lens on um, his face, but he's doing a really great job. So the longer he keeps them on, the more treats I'm going to give him. Very good, so now we are got, we've got to the point where our dog is wearing their x -Specs with the goggles for maybe 10, 15, 20 seconds. I'm not gonna push it past that. I'm gonna give him lots of treats for wearing it and then take it off. Very good. So one thing to keep in mind is that once your dog wears them, that does not mean that they're ready to go out on adventure with them. We wanna make sure our dog feels confident because if they're out on adventure or outside with these and they try to take them off, that's a negative experience for your dog. So we wanna make sure we're keeping positive experiences with the Rex Specs so that when our dog sees them, they try to put them on and they're not overwhelmed by wearing them. So don't rush the process. I know it's long, I know it's tedious, but it will be worth it if you take your time and make sure it's a positive experience for your dog, right? Yeah, we're gonna take a break now and our next Step, we'll be adding some movement along with the duration so that he feels what it feels like on his face when he's moving around. So that's our next step. Hey okay, guys, so we're ready for our next step. So I'm gonna actually bring him over here. Let's see if he offers putting them on. Great job, excellent job, I dropped a cookie. Very good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and clip that for him. This is the part that seems to wear him out a little bit. Good boy. Watch your dog's body language here. We wanna make sure they're feeling comfortable. If you see that your dog is kind of like hunching over or acting a little strange, that means you need to go back a step and stay at that step for quite some time. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move his head back and forth by using a treat. Yes, good boy. So he sees it's not weird, you're totally okay. Nothing bad's gonna happen with wearing these. So I'm gonna use the treat to bring him forward. Great job moving his head around with them on. Good, so this is the time to start asking for behaviors like a sit, great job, give me your paw. And you might notice your dog has a hard time doing normal behaviors and it's just because there's, there's something on their head and they're not used to wearing something on their head. So practice lots of movement with your dog, get them moving, get them walking, sitting, 
lying down, giving pause, even do a spin move if they feel comfortable. Great job. So that they can see that the goggles are not inhibiting their movement at all and that they could still do everything normally. So this is the next step. We're gonna be adding movement. And then once your dog has gotten some movement and they can walk around, what you can actually do is toss some treats on the floor and your dog will probably get a little confused because it's a little bit heavy, but I'm going to keep it short, keep a really high rate of reinforcement, which means give them lots of treats for doing everything. They're doing such a good job, great job. And then we're going to end it there so that he had a great time finding treats on the floor, giving paws and high fives and sits and spins, loads of treats for it, and it was a positive experience. Okay guys, so we're going to go through all the steps that we previously did. Now that we're outside, yes, good job. So I'm gonna take the awkward behavior, putting the face in, yes, good job. We're not going to just put them on and make him walk. We're gonna start slowly again. Make sure he's feeling good and confident about it. All right. Yes, good job. Now we'll add some duration. So now we're really quickly moving through the steps of getting him used to it. Very good, I'll go ahead and buckle it. Yes, great job. Now we've already practiced a lot of movement inside and I already had him walking around with it on his face inside as well. The longer he keeps them on, the more treats he gets. Very good. So I'm gonna put a treat on the floor, okay. Great job, good boy. And now I'm going to actually use the treats to kind of guide him around. And give him treats for walking with them on his face. See if he'll just walk with me without the treats. That's my job, buddy. Go ahead. Good boy. Put you on the floor. Let's even call him Tucker. Come. Tucker, come. Great. Awesome job. Remember to keep your sessions super short and super successful. We want him feeling great about wearing his rec specs and then we'll take them off when he's feeling good. Okay, so now that he's feeling pretty good about being able to put them on and take a few steps on a walk with them, I want to actually take him on a walk. So let's see how he does. See he offers. Yes, good job. Very good. So now we're moving through all the steps really quickly. He's feeling confident. I'm not forcing the goggles on. He's putting them on himself. And let's go for a walk. Yes, good boy. So by putting a leash on him, I'm actually setting him up for success so he's not able to get too far and then realize he was overwhelmed. So I'm keeping him close, keeping it short and simple, giving him lots of rewards for wearing them. And now we're going to take them on an actual walk and see how he does. Right? Okay. I'll take you. Good boy. I'm going to reward anytime I see him being really good and wearing them. And I want to encourage him to act normally with them, so go sniff things. And there he's rubbing them. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a break. Good job. Come. Good boy. Good job, buddy. So this is actually when we need the goggles the most is in the sun. Great job, bud. Good job. Once my dog is pretty comfortable wearing them, walking around in them, that's when you can try switching the lenses and seeing how your dog does with all the steps with the colored lenses on. But he's been really great. So good. So we're on an actual walk now and Mr. Tucker is doing great. I am letting him explore on a longer leash so that he can learn that he's able to act normally and move normally when wearing his goggles and he gets lots of praise for doing so and gets to sniff around and just be a dog with his goggles on. And so far, so far so good. We've been on the walk for about 15 minutes. He wanted to stop and roll in this grass here. And so the Rex Bex did move around a little bit. So I had to tighten them to make sure that they fit him properly. Um, but he has not messed with them on our walk. And that's a really good sign, meaning that we took our time to make sure he was confident and comfortable. And it looks like he will be doing great with his Rex Bex from here on out. Yeah.